Hi, my name is Justin, and we're here at the Wagon Tech Studios. We're going to answer all your questions regarding our intelligent battery charger line. We'll call it an FAQ. So let's get started. The first question we have is, what type or chemical makeup of a battery can your chargers charge? Our chargers can do 6 volt and 12 volt, lithium iron phosphate, sealed lead acid or SLA, AGM, maintenance free, flooded, wet cell, spiral cell, gel, lead acid, basically any type of standard automotive battery. The next question we have is, what is the largest size batteries that these can charge? There really is no limit. Um, this customer had a 200 amp hour battery that he wanted to charge, and you can certainly do that. It would just take a little bit longer because of the size of the battery. The next question is, what charger should I get for my battery? Well, it really depends on the size of battery you have. If you have a small battery, you'd go with the small 1.5 amp charger. A normal size car battery, you can go 4 amp or the 8 amp. If you have a large battery or like a diesel truck or something like that, you'd want to go for the 15 amp battery for sure. The next question we have is, what are the different amp ratings on the chargers and what do they mean? The different amp ratings are the output currents that the charger provides. The more current is going to the battery, the faster it charges, but you have to be careful not to charge at a high amp rating on a small battery. What do the LED lights mean on your 1.5 amp charger? On the 1.5 amp charger, there are two LED lights that indicate the status of the charger. A steady yellow light means that the charger is charging the battery. The steady green light means that the charger cycle is complete, the battery is full, and no light indicates there's no battery detected or there is a fault. Next question, how do you use this charger? Well, it depends on which charger you're asking about, but our chargers are very simple to use. Basically, you just plug the charger into the wall AC outlet, then connect the red clamp to the positive clamp on the battery, and then connect the black clamp to the negative post on the battery. Depending on which battery charger model you have, you may have to select what charging mode or speed you prefer. The rest is completely automatic. What is the difference between a microprocessor controlled battery charger and one that is not? A microprocessor controlled charger is basically a computer inside that monitors the battery and its charge and then adapts the battery charging accordingly. A standard charger simply applies a current or a charge to the battery without considering the battery's condition or needs. Is your charger a microprocessor controlled charger? Yes, all four of our chargers are microprocessor controlled. What battery voltage does it charge? Depending on the model of the charger, they can charge 6 volt and 12 volt battery models. They also charge lithium iron phosphate batteries or LifePo4 as well. Can I charge different types of lithium ion batteries? No, our chargers are only made for LifePo4 batteries. Will they charge multiple batteries connected in parallel? The short answer is yes, but we do not recommend it. The reason being is that the first battery will be fully charged at the end of the charging cycle, but each subsequent battery will not gain a full charge. It is best to charge each battery individually. Another important question here is, what is winter mode? Well, batteries have a hard time charging in cold weather, and then temperature itself inhibits the cells from accepting a charge. Winter mode adapts the battery charger to help the battery take a charge in temperatures between 33 to 41 degrees Fahrenheit. What is maintenance charge or a maintenance charger? A maintenance charger is generally one that is small in size and used to maintain small seasonal batteries as found on most small power craft like jet skis, snowmobiles, ATVs, dirt bikes, ride on lawnmowers, or even your vehicle that's been parked for some time. What is fast charge? Fast charge is when the battery charger applies a high amperage or current to the battery in order to charge in less time. So conversely, what is slow charge? Slow charging is when the battery charger applies a very low and steady charge current to the battery over an extended period of time. The following questions are in regards to the stages of charging that our chargers provide. There's a three stage charger, a six stage charger, and then a nine stage charger. I'll go through each of those stages first and then break down which each one of those means. So the first one is three stage charging. It's a bulk charge, an absorption charge, and a maintenance charge. Six stage charging is a soft start, a bulk charge, an absorption charge, an evaluation or diagnostic mode, reconditioning mode, and then a maintenance charge. The nine stage charger is primary evaluation, a recovery, a soft start, a pulse mode, then another reconditioning, a bulk charge, an absorption charge, evaluation, and then a maintenance charge. Now I'll go through all the details of what those actually mean. The primary evaluation is the first stage in which the charger runs a diagnostic test on the battery's condition, the charge, and the overall health. The recovery charge is the second stage where the charger will begin to restore a deeply discharged battery. This step is skipped if the battery does not require it. To protect the battery and optimize charging, the soft start action is applied. A slow charge current is applied to the battery and then it slowly ramps up. 
The pulse cycle is initiated to help knock off sulfation, which is the buildup on the plates, that may be inhibiting the battery's ability to reach full capacity. The reconditioning cycle helps to prepare the battery for bulk charging and finalizes the recovery charge. Bulk charging is the first stage in which the charger identifies the battery and its needs and then applies a high voltage amperage charge to do the bulk of the charging. Absorption charging is when the battery has reached 80% of its capacity and begins to lower the input current to the battery. This is sometimes known as the cool down cycle. Evaluation diagnostic is the last diagnostic mode to ensure the battery is at its optimal health. And the final cycle is known as the maintenance charge, also known as a trickle or float charge. In this stage, the battery has already reached its full capacity, about 95%, and the battery charger will continue to apply a steady current until the battery reaches 100% capacity. At that time, the charger will continue to monitor the battery and then apply a charge if it detects any loss. Will this jump start my battery? These do not have a jump starting feature. They're only meant to charge and evaluate the battery's condition. The next questions are kind of the same. Can I overcharge my battery? And can I leave the charger on the battery? You can leave it on the battery for several days or even weeks after the battery is fully charged. It won't damage it. However, we do not recommend that you leave it on for months as this can cause premature wear on the electromotive components inside of the battery charger from constantly cycling on and off. How much power does the charger draw? This really depends on the battery's needs and of course what battery charger you're using. The 1.5 amp will charge up to 1.5 amps. The 15 amp will go up to 15 amps. Can I charge a cold or frozen battery? Um, generally, you do not want to charge a battery that is frozen. This is for cold batteries. If you have a frozen battery, you want to bring it into a warmer location to thaw prior to charging. Conversely, can I charge when it's hot outside? Batteries do have an upper heat limit, so it's not a good idea to charge them when it's extremely hot outside. Can the charger get wet or can it charge in the rain? No and no. The chargers are not waterproof, nor is it a good idea to ever charge a battery in an unprotected environment or in the rain. How do I know if I need a new battery? Well, there's several factors to take a look at. If your battery will no longer take a full charge, then definitely have a trained professional do a load test and take a look at it. Do I need to charge a new battery? Well, you don't need to charge a new battery, but they don't come 100% charged from the factory. So it's definitely a good idea to charge it, even if it's brand new. Do I need to drain the battery before charging? Definitely, you do not need to do that. Um, most sealed lead acid automotive AGM batteries are not good once they're fully depleted. So you should definitely recharge the battery often and as needed. Can I charge my battery too fast? I have a small battery and want to put it on a 15 amp charger to charge it faster. Yes, you can recharge a battery too fast. You definitely do not want to use a high amperage charge on a small battery. Do your battery chargers work on nickel based batteries like NiCad or nickel metal hydride? No, our chargers actually are not meant for that. They're meant for standard 12 volt and six volt automotive batteries and of course a LifePo 4 battery. Next question, can I charge and use or discharge the battery at the same time? Well, due to the charging cycles and the fluctuating voltages, we do not advise using the battery while charging it. Can I charge the battery with corrosion on the terminals? No, you should never use a battery charger while there's corrosion on the terminals. You should definitely clean them and then check the electrolyte levels or the battery acid prior to charging any battery. Are your chargers safe to use? Yes, very much so, they definitely are. They're protected from short circuits overheating, overcharging, and reverse polarity conditions. So they're definitely safe to use. Last question is, what is an SAE connector? An SAE connector is a simple quick disconnect that is keyed so you can't accidentally plug it in wrong. All right, well that's been all the frequently asked questions that we've had regarding our intelligent battery chargers. If you have any more questions, feel free to email us at customerservice at wagon.com or leave them down below in the comments. Certainly, if you wanna learn more about these chargers, click the link right here and thank you very much for watching.